The disc has me stumped! Maybe you've got the magic touch. How will I know when it's on? What red light? This red light? Oh, it's, oh, it's recording. Shh. General Choco Khan, years ago, you served my father. The most delightful treat he'd ever consumed. The jolt of sweetness spurred him to mount an expedition beyond Imperia to find its like again. My liege, I am happy to report... Oh, pardon me. <clears throat> I am happy to report success. Our party has found an entire world of the most decadent sugar. In honor of your daughter, we dub this world Caramel. The natives had no clue of the decadence around them, but we mastered its secrets. Then something went terribly wrong. The food we created turned us into monsters. Slovenly, insatiable monsters. We must be saved from ourselves. I've placed information vital to the survival of our crew in the memory systems of this hollow disk. Help me, Choco Khan. You're my only... Oh, my goodness, that person looked like me! This all but confirms my theories about gobbler physiology. It's also an insight into our history that none of us know. We must inform the others. I need some time to process the information stored in the hollow disk. Could you go out and tell the gobblers what we've learned? And while you're at it, use your powers of persuasion to motivate them to do something, anything. Tell them it's the only way they'll get fed. The disc has me stumped. Maybe you've got the magic touch. Just dropped the food directly into my face. What? No food? Just motivation? What kind of monster are you? What? You say I could feed myself? Gobblers really used to be great thinkers and makers? Hmm, truth be told, I've always had this little voice inside me telling me to build things. I figured it was gas. You know, if and we restored the factory here, we could use it to make all sorts of things. Even food! I'll tell the others. Hey, you're that strange little stranger that's going around filling gobblers' heads with things that ain't food, ain't you? What's your angle? To inform us Nana is keeping us fat and docile so she can steal our sweat to make a gummy army? That's quite an angle. But what can I do? Literally anything you say. I've been interested in engineering ever since that time I tried to eat a clock. Suppose I could give that a go. Finally, I'll have a double fudge burger with cream cheese. Huh? You're here to teach me about history? Ooh, fine. I'm too lazy to walk away. Wow, gobblers used to be explorers, and we discovered how to work the land here. I weren't taught that in 12 years of gobbler garden. I should do something? I have always wondered about farming. If I grew my own food, I wouldn't depend on Nana. That's it, I'm gonna be a farmer.
How'd your motivational speaking go, kiddo? Wow, I'm impressed you were so successful, much less not eaten. I was pretty successful here, too. The information on this hollow disk was invaluable. I was able to use it to map out the perfect gobbler food for our unique physiology and tastes. The key is fairy dusted organic ingredients. None of the low fructose candy corn syrup junk Nana uses. The trick is going to be manufacturing. What? The gobblers are restoring the old factory as we speak? Perfect. How's about I go manage those efforts while you go gather ingredients? There's an underwater grotto where you can collect all natural Swedish fish eggs. Oh, and grab some jellyfish jelly while you're there. The grotto will spit you out in the gumdrop forest where you can pick fresh gumdrops. Now, here's the most important part, the fairy dust. Fairy guides offer dusting to the tourists for an exorbitant price. Luckily, I have this coupon for free fairy dusting. Now, let's go to work. Go get me those organic crops. And don't forget to give the fairy guide in the gumdrop forest the free fairy dusting coupon.
Valued customer to the gumdrop forest. Oop, in a hurry, I see. You'd like a dusting? No problem. That'll be 50,000 gold. Oh, but you have a coupon. And this is a poorly written one that doesn't limit the amount of fairy dust I have to give you for free. <laughs> Wunderbar. And poof, there you go. You're dusted with all the fairy dust I had. You have yourself an old-fashioned, delightful day! Oh good, you're back. The gobblers and I have been hard at work, if you can believe it. Come, show me what you've collected. My word, that's quite a haul! I've explained the situation and the need for Splendorphins to the Gobblers, and they're remarkably eager to help. They've earned their treats! I'll take the majority of the food back to my lab for safekeeping and continued study. Can you deliver the rest to the hard-working Gobblers? Start with our new farmer, and tell him he can plant the seeds from those gumdrops. 